so today we will see like how to create like overhead tank and then uh, analysis which means like design and analysis of uh, overhead tank rectangular water tank in stat pro before that we will see like based on our dimension how much capacity for our water tank so for that i am just going to consider 12 meter uh, which means like height i am putting like a 6 meter so width 8 meter so length 12 meter so filter depth optional i am just putting calculate So we can able to see the values here. So which means like it can able to accommodate up to 5,76,000 for uh, water or any liquid. So this dimension we can able to fill up to 5.76 which means 5,76,000 liters of water. So this we can able to like calculate from a calculator soup uh, website. So this is what the link you can make use of it. So today in start row we will see like how to create a overhead water tank, rectangular water tank. So for that I am just going to continue with a new project with the space model. So naming as rectangular OHT overhead tank with the length meter and then force kilo newton. So I am just going for a open structure wizard finish now here i am just going for a frame models bay frame or we can just go for grid frame so in grid frame i am just going for length 12 meter height i am just going to consider 6 meter width i am just going to consider 8 meter and number of bays just only one 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 so everywhere i am just putting one and I am putting apply. So this is what the water tank looks like. Now I am just going to transfer the model. Would you like to transfer? Yes. And click OK. Now this is what the water tank looks like. So to display the nodes, shift K. So now the nodes are displaying. Now what we can do means just selecting these two beams. And uh, I am just going for a right click, insert node where I'm just going to put add endpoints and 3 I'm just going to split that into so 3 and then click OK now we got like this now again we need to split uh, these beams into 2 right click insert node and then add midpoint could be better and then click OK now you can select and then go to isometric now you can just go to geometry and we can just go for connect beams along X and Z axis. So you can just go for nodes and select everything. So go for geometry, connect beams along X. So nine beams are created, click OK. And then geometry, connect beams along Z. 7 members are created, click OK. See we can just go for tools and then we can just go for check duplicate members. See each and every duplicate is just showing, you can able to match. So match with 1, match with 2. So like this we can able to match the duplicates. Or we need to be careful when we are creating the members. See now we don't have any duplicates, it should be like this. So now I am just going for node cursor, I am just going to take only these nodes and I am just going for, so translational repeat in uh, y direction, so two steps, so minus 4 I am putting. So otherwise we can just go for three steps. So for minus four. So link steps and then click OK. So it should be like this. So we can just create our own beams like using uh, this method.
So just uh, go for beam cursor, only select these beams and then we can just uh, go for translational repeat and then only one step in y direction, minus 4 and no need to put any link steps or something like that, just click OK. So it will be like this, we can able to see in a 3D view. Now our part is to create plates. For plates, I am just going for a generated surface meshing. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. I am just going for a polygonal meshing. Click OK. Now click OK. Again, I am just going for a So, polygonal meshing. Click OK. Now to display the node number or we can able to rotate. And then we can able to draw the mesh. Now we can just see an isometric view and then a 3D view how our structure looks like. So this is what the structure looks like. Now we can able to just go for creating the cross sections. So now we can just go for general and then define. So rectangle of 0.3 cross 0.3 and also 0.35 cross 0.35 for columns and also thickness for 0.15 for plates or slabs. So this one I am just going for select beam parallel to X select beam parallel to Z only for a horizontal members assigned to selected beam yeah, and then second one select beam parallel to Y and then assign to selected beams so plate thickness we can just go for assign to view so for all the plates assign yes now we can see in a 3d view how our structure looks like see this is what the structure looks like So close it. Now we can just go for support, create a fixed support, go to front view, select this node, assign to select. Now we can just go for loads and definition and where we can just go for load case detail, add, so date load, DL and then so live load or we can just go for fluid loads. So hydro static load so date load i'm just going for add self weight assign to view so hydrostatic load or we can have a live load also add we need to go for plate load and in plate load we need to go for hydrostatic where we need to select the select plate first and then So, so we can just go for plate cursor. So I have selected all the plates and we need to put done. So now we are just going to put W1 and W2. For example, W1 I am putting a minus 5. So, W2 I am just going to put minus 30 or we can have a minus 10 in W1 and uh, interpolate along global axis. I am putting both local Z and then X. So, you can have both like Y and Y and you can add it.
See now we have like this. So we can also just go for load combination, auto load combination as per Indian code. In Indian code, general structure generate loads. Now analysis and print all add. So analysis run analysis. So zero error, zero warning, zero note. It is perfect in that case. View output file done. So now we can able to see the deflection, shear bending, everything. And also in post processing, we can able to see the reactions. So you can just take anything and we can able to see how the reactions is this, like this. And we can just go for displacement. We can just go for beams. And for a beam, we can just go for bending moments and then shear forces. And we can also go for plate stress. Apply OK. See, this is how the plate looks like. See inside how the stress it will be. Everything we can able to see from here. See this is how the stress it will be and we can able to see the values. So now I am just going back to modeling and I am just going for a design. I am just going for concrete design. So concrete design, I'm just going to continue with IS456. So select parameters. I'm just going to consider only the compressive strength and then the yield strength of main reinforcement and yield strength of shear reinforcements and then click OK. Define parameter. So compressive strength of uh, M40 we will consider. In that case, 40,000 we need to put. Main, I'm just going to consider 415. And then secondary also 415. So 415 steel, FE 415 steel. And this one we can just go for assign to view. Or assign to view. Assign to view. So commands. So add, column add, slab add. So take off add. So everything we have added then we need to assign. So select beam and then as usual select beam parallel to X and then select beam parallel to Z. Assign to selected beam is the design column select beam parallel to Y assign to selected design element. So we can just go for assign to view or assign to selected place. Assign to view as we have only plates over there. Okay, now again we can just go for analysis. So now also we get zero error but 12 warning that's not an issue. So view output file done. See now we can able to see concrete design beam column everything. So what is the warning we can see like uh, length to depth ratio for a member 15 is less than 2.5. So this is as per uh, IS codes. So section fails while designing. Okay. Some section fails while designing. Okay. We will see the result first. Going for concrete design, we can just click beam and this is what the beam number one, top reinforcement, bottom reinforcement, everything and then even the stirrups and then the reinforcement details also we can able to see here. So three number of 10 mm bus, something like that. 
then uh, two legged uh, 8 mm bars at 125 mm center to center everything we can able to see clearly and we can able to see column so column PU is that values MEO is that values everything and then main reinforcement 4 number of 12 mm dia reinforcement and then uh, tie reinforcement 8 mm bar at 190 mm center to center So required steel area, required concrete area, everything we can able to see here. Now we can just go for control F element, element design. This is what the element design also we are getting. So based on this, we can able to find the right mm bar. So 156 here it is coming and then sometimes it is like 189, 319 like that. So, so we can able to go for different uh, sizes of bars for uh, element 8 to 12 something like that 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm bars like that depend on the area of steel required so now we can double click and we can able to see the concrete design see 12 mm bar four numbers needed and for the beams it is like a different so 10 mm bars 10 mm bars and also 8 mm bars like that So now we have designed the rectangular overhead water tank and also concrete design we did. So we can able to see the reinforcement details for columns, beams and also element. Now we can just go for foundation design and we can able to include all the loads and then we can just go for run start foundation. So now we are in a start foundation automatically it will uh, take us to the platform where we need to do what job setup create a new job where we can able to put a rectangular OHT and then uh, what kind of foundation you want isolated or pile for this isolated is enough so I'm just going for isolated or if you are okay with pile we can just go for pile also so we will see isolated and then I'm just going for design code Indian. So Indian codes. So default uh, unit type, I'm just going for SI, standard SI units, right? Standard input units. Uh, and then support assignment assigned to all support. And then here, we need to just go for taking all the loads and we need to create a job. Once you click create job only, we can able to see the output here, but here nothing. It is like null output. When it will come, we can just go for isolated footing job and then parameters, concrete and rebar, we can able to select unit weight of concrete. So I am just going for so 40 kN M40 grade of concrete, minimum bar spacing 50 mm, maximum bar spacing uh, 500 mm. So these are all the standard things, strength of concrete, so 40 I am putting, so yield strength of steel, minimum bar size I am just putting, uh, so 12 and then maximum bar size 32, so set as default, no, no problem, we, this we can continue with no, now cover and soil, bottom clear cover, these things also if you want to like change, for example soil bearing capacity, if you want to change the uh, like site value or actual value we can able to change here so gross bearing capacity of soil considered for design purpose user may change the unit from the right side combo box so unit also we can able to change as per your requirement so footing geometry so minimum length maximum length everything and then sliding and overturning the factors also coefficient of friction 0.5 factor of safety against sliding 1.5 factor of safety against overturning 1.5 this is as per Indian standards and then we can just go for design so do you want to analyze our design yes so wait for some time we will get the results see we got the result for each and every footing so we can click the footing number and we can able to see the values and everything so footing geometry column dimension pedestal concrete and rebar properties everything so this we can able to just uh, go down 
and print calculation sheet and we can able to print to PDF and we can also go for detail and schedule drawing see where we can able to see the reinforcement details 12 mm bar at 330 mm center to center spacing now the pedestal reinforcement is missing if you want pedestal reinforcements also then we can just go here here we can just go for column dimensions where we can able to switch on the pedestal also see consider pedestal no we need to put yes so that we will get that details also see now i put everywhere yes and i'm just going for design again yes now we will get the pedestal details also before it was like nothing now we got the pedestal reinforcements also see it is like a 12 mm four number of bars needed and then uh, 6 mm for ties 190 mm center to center spacing this also we can able to modify so based on the factors we will get so like this we can able to like uh, design and analysis any structures in stat pro and we can also go for stat foundation and it is very simple to use and then we can able to get the results immediately now like this we can able to see the output like uh, what are all the footing dimensions and then footing reinforcements pedestal reinforcements like that and we can also just click the required thing and we can able to see the pictorial representation and calculations we can just go for detailed drawing so like this see now we can also see the pedestal reinforcements so pedestal reinforcements so how the cross section see here they put aa as per the aa we are getting the details for pedestals so this pedestal reinforcements and we can also go for schedule drawing where we can able to see like this and we can able to see the columns so each and uh, every details we can able to see from this tabular column and this we can able to save drawing as AutoCAD file so we can able to go for any of these formats and we can just go for AutoCAD drawing and you can put uh, the details OHT and then I'm just going for save it will be saved and we can able to reopen in any AutoCAD platform and we can able to work with so now here we we have that file rectangular OHT AutoCAD file that we can able to double click and it will open in any of the AutoCAD platforms so continue opening DWG file so now we can able to see all the details in our AutoCAD file this we can able to modify if we want and we can able to submit to our clients so we can able to see everything clearly in our AutoCAD program so foundation mark column column or pedestal foundation cover and then reinforcements so like this we can able to make use of stat pro and then stat foundation and we can able to easily work with this platforms